everybody and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here today to do your weekly tarot reading for January 18th through 24th, 2021. And this is for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Cancer. So this is a general and intuitive reading as always. So take what parts of the messages resonate with you and leave the rest behind for somebody else. So let's see where we go. Messages for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do we need to know for the week ahead? All right. And we have Gnome Custodianship. All right. We'll go a little deeper into that in just one second. I'm just going to pull out a couple extra cards for you here. Messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do we need to know for the week ahead, please? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Messages for the week ahead. All right. And we have, ooh, intention, hidden motivations. Okay. And then we also have, oh, in the reverse, we have spirit energy and the vast universe, but in reverse. Okay. All right, thank you, Spirit. So I'm going to start, um, normally I start with um, uh, with uh, this one here, um, but I'm actually going to start with the other two, and I'm going to read Gnome from the book, because um, the Gnome is about uh, custodianship, but um, and the Gnome is the custodian of the earth, so it's a very grounding, earthy kind of energy, um, but the, the Gnome also has a... Uh, it's a, a much deeper message, and rather than ad lib, I'm going to read it to you. Um, so we're going to start here. So we have uh, intent. This is your intention, and it's hidden motivations. All right. So depending on your situation, in some situation, um, currently some of you are waiting for answers about something. Okay, you're waiting for some sort of resolution, um, some more information about a certain situation. This can be a job, a career, a financial, a legal situation, okay, or a relationship, uh, whatever it happens to be. Fear not because the answers will come to you soon. You will get that closure that you need um, in order to resolve that issue or at least get more information to move on, okay? Um, that's the first message from this one. The second one, though, is, um, excuse me, your, you have conflicting intentions that are actually holding you back from manifesting your dreams. Okay. So a good, uh, a good indicator of that. And, and it has to do with your, with your past and releasing your past a little bit. Okay. So here's just one example and there's many, so you can relate this to other areas of your life. Let's say that you are single. And perhaps you've had a number of failed relationships, okay? Everyone's been there, right? Um, however, now you're saying that you're ready for a relationship, you're ready for love. However, deep down, you haven't let go of your past situations. You haven't let go, let go of your past hurts. And so that is actually blocking you, your fear, and your reluctance to release the past is actually blocking you from manifesting your true desires. Okay. Um, so that's, like I said, that's just one example. Um, so make sure that you, so in order to unblock yourself, cause that's what's happening here. Um, your head and your heart are not in, in line with your intention. Okay. So, and this is actually relates to the next card out as well. All right. So try and, uh, try and do whatever it is that you need to do to release your past. It doesn't mean forget the past. Okay. Don't, don't get that wrong. Don't misunderstand that. Um, because we should never really forget anything. We can forgive, we can release, we can learn and we can move on. Um, but of course, uh, you know, you don't want to dwell in it. It doesn't mean to forget it, right? We're not in that cancel culture, um, especially with our lives, right? You do need to remember things, okay? But you learn from them and you and you move forward. So you do need to release something here. Get your intention in line with what you're trying to manifest, what dreams you're trying to come about. And again, that can be 
your career goals, your financial goals, your personal relationship goals, right? Any area of your life. So you need to get back in alignment with yourself there because otherwise you're just blocking yourself needlessly, right? Because there's great things trying to break through for you. Okay. And it feels like here you're not you're not quite listening to your intuition, okay? The universe is always there for you, right? And it just feels as though you're perhaps, um, perhaps there's messages trying to come through. There's symbols trying to come through, right? So maybe you're having dreams. Um, you might be seeing something such as repeating numbers everywhere that you're ignoring. Maybe you're seeing other signs and symbols and you're just not, not quite in alignment with that, okay? So... Um, try and get yourself in a, um, a more aligned kind of headspace, all right, and allow yourself to receive the messages that you're getting, right, because spirit always wants to help you. Um, there's always opportunities there for you in the universe, okay, so, but again, it feels like you're blocking and probably not intentional, okay? Absolutely probably not intentional, but even unintentional. So um, take some time for yourself, okay? Go in and get some little bit of solitude. Um, it doesn't have to be a long time. It doesn't mean you have to lock yourself in a, you know, in, in your bedroom for the next month or anything like that. But maybe a little bit of meditation, a little bit of quiet time. Um, go for a walk, okay? Get yourself grounded and that might help you. Speaking of getting grounded, it brings me to the gnome energy that's coming out for you. So um, this might, uh, the gnome is wanting to give us a little bit of a kick in the pants a little bit, which is why I want to read it from the book for you and not just ad lib it. All right, so here we go. The gnome guardianship, all right? So we start with a poem. Magical guardian of fauna and flowers, warden of nature's mystical powers, defender of magic and keeper of earth, journey within to restore and rebirth. I call upon Gnome to assist me and harness this power so mote it be. My nurturing guardianship serves as a stable foundation and is fundamental to your security. I quietly go about my business with a waste-not-want-not attitude, overseeing all of the flora and fauna as caretaker of the element of earth. An attitude that would serve you well when blighted by the trappings of consumerism. Neglect and carelessness cause me concern, and your lack of thought could soon see you become a prisoner of your own making. Time to take responsibility and ownership for who you are and your own actions rather than deliberately keeping things buried. As I toil away at the soil, I, over, I will oversee your growth. Let's weed out together the root cause of any unrest or uncertainty and get to the core of that which vexes you. Allow the fertile earth and magic to restore you as you take steps to become a defender and custodian of your life and the world around you. Familiar's foresight. You have green fingers. A career in landscape gardening beckons. Get your hands dirty and work with flowers and herbaceous borders. Dig an allotment and grow organic vegetables. Something deeply hidden will soon be revealed. Get to the root of the problem. Protect that for which you're responsible for. Details need defending. Work with the magic of earth. Okay, so... Again, that very much in line with your hidden motivations, right? Something's out of alignment, something's out of kilter. All right, so um, it's time to do some little bit of work, okay? A little bit of work, a little bit of release, okay? Release, release things that aren't working for you and that aren't serving you. All right, so let's pull some tarot and let's see where else we go. Because um, the the gnome gnome there kind of just gave you a little bit of um, a little bit of a, a kick there I think <laughs> all right almost almost felt a little bit like a lecture didn't it so let's see where else we go here so messages for Cancer please for the week ahead Cancer sun moon sun moon rising what do we need to know for the week ahead please thank you angel spirits guides there we go. I knew that one was going to come out, either this one or the nine of air. We have the eight of air, okay? Um, so yeah, self-imposed restrictions, right? You're blocking yourself a little bit, but we can rise above it. So let's pull some more tarot here. And we have the three of water, okay? That's great energy. That's celebratory. Release, celebrate. All right, one more message for cancer, please. 
and then we have the messenger of earth. <laughs> uh, I think the gnome kind of was that, but um, here we go. Okay. The eight of air. All right. Um, this is similar, uh, similar, but with a more uplifting message, similar to the eight of swords, which is self-imposed restrictions. All right. Feeling as though you're trapped, you can't move forward. In this deck, this is the good tarot. You see all the feathers floating down? This is releasing yourself from your self-imposed restrictions. Okay. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. All right. Make sure your intentions are in alignment, okay, with what you truly desire and what you truly want to manifest. Release anything that is overburdening you, all right, so that you can be lighter and that you can move on to what really does serve you and what you truly do desire, okay? Break free out of that energy. Air is about our thoughts, okay, about our thoughts, our communication, our intellect, all right. And again, this is self-imposed. So by, by not being in that alignment with yourself, you're uh, actually blocking everything. So release, get in alignment. All right. And uh, that way the energies can flow. Okay. And look what happens once you release. Okay. Once you release. Ha. Three of water. This is the third reading in a row, I think, that um, I think this came out for... Uh, Leo and Sagittarius, for sure, this came out in, okay? The three of water is joy, celebration, okay? This is um, a very, it, it's like a successful energy, but it's more of like an emotional, it, it's almost like an emotional release, okay? Um, get together with friends, get together with family, um, you know, go for a couple of drinks, you know, go do something fun, okay? Do something fun, right? You, you know, you're, you're, you're in this kind of like stuck energy kind of going around and around a little bit, right? But you need to go out and have a little bit of fun, um, embrace your joy. Um, you know, just, just go enjoy yourself. All right. Because celebrate the fact that, um, you're able to release something, release those negative thoughts, release your, your restrictions that are holding you back. Okay. Now for some of you, Okay, for some of you, this can have to do, this might have to do with um, your work, your home, your career. So expect a message of some sort in regards to any of those areas. All right. Um, so if what you're looking for is a new job and you haven't been able to find the job you want, right, because maybe deep down what you think you want on the surface deep down is not what you want, right? So when you release when you get back in alignment and release, then the energy flows and now look what happens. Now you have that opportunity. So there might be a message coming in. Maybe you get a call for a job interview. Okay. Um, you might be getting um, some sort of a promotion or a raise with this. We'll pull extra card and see, uh, see what other energies come out before we kind of go down that road. But this has to do with your home, your career, your money. Okay, your stability. And this is that message. Okay, so there is some sort of communication coming in for you. And this could also be, by the way, this could also be your communication with yourself getting grounded and getting real. Okay, so that could also be that energy there. So let us clarify these energies on the table, please. Clarify this eight of air for me. Clarify this eight of air, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Ten of freaking Cups, okay? Right? Get yourself in alignment, okay? You're blocking your own happiness, right? This is, uh, the Ten of Cups is one of the happiest energies in the entire tarot, all right? It's filled with possibilities. It's an ending, okay? But it's a happy ending, all right, so release, let go, get in alignment, embrace your inner joy, your happiness, and that which what which you want to bring about. Let me just get another card for that. Ace of Wands, okay? Embrace the new, all right? This is a new opportunity, okay? Once you release yourself, right? This is what you want. You want something new, a new opportunity. This could be a job. This can be 
Um, this can be a project, a promotion, you name it, okay? But this is something new. It's a gift from the universe, right? Something that renews your passion, your creativity, your inventiveness, your fire, all right? But something that will make you very happy, all right? This is what you want, okay? This is what you're looking for, all right? Get in alignment, right? Get in alignment with that. So let's clarify the three of water. And we have the page of swords, right? The start of something new in the sun. Oh my God. And the eight of cups. Okay. So yeah, walking away from what doesn't work for you anymore. Okay. This is, um, a, this is your new way of thinking the page of swords. All right. The pages, um, the pages can represent your energy. They can also be messengers. Okay. So, but this is about your intellect, your way of thinking, right? So look what happens when you, um, when you get in alignment and release yourself from, you know, from blocking yourself, right? You allow the new. So the page of swords can sometimes be, um, sometimes be a little bit of scattered energy. Okay. Sometimes, but it's the start of something new. It's the seeds of a new beginning, right? So this is like your new way of thinking, um, that you haven't quite mastered yet. Okay. Because you've maybe been stuck in this energy for, for quite a while. All right. But you do want to bring back, and you see how this page of swords here, you see how he's looking at your Ten of Cups and your Ace of Wands. He's looking at your happiness and your new beginnings, right? And he's like, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for, okay? So again, get, in your, get back in alignment here, and this is, what, this is what you want, right? That's your new way of thinking, right? And live in the energy of I already have it. Leave behind what didn't work for you, the Eight of Cups. Okay, the eight of cups, I mean, none of these cups are tipped over. So nothing was maybe nothing was like super wrong. Okay, with with how you were doing things with your, um, you know, with your situation. All right, but it just not doing it for you. Right, it's not working for you, but there's better opportunities on the horizon. And this is what you're thinking about, right? What you think about you bring about. Okay, um, with your intentions and your feelings. All right, but this is you walking towards a better opportunity, walking towards your ultimate happiness here with the sun. All right. This is the sun. So, um, so I will say for some of you, okay. I will say for some of you that this might be relationship based. Okay. In regards to, um, furthering your commitment Okay, furthering your commitment or um, perhaps starting a family, right? Maybe you've been unsure. Maybe you, on, this, on the surface, you've been paying lip service to it that you don't want it. And, but deep down, you truly do, okay? And you've been blocking yourself from that a little bit. Maybe you've just been unsure, Okay, but the sun, uh, we do have a toddler sitting on the horse and the pages can also represent children. All right, so for some of you, this, and I'll point out to the 10 of cups also has children in it. So we have three cards of children in it um, and the ace of wands is full of passion. All right, so some of you could, this could have to do with starting a family. Okay, and expanding your horizons that way. Some of you could actually um, be finding out that you're pregnant or actively trying to get pregnant. Some might actually be giving birth this week if that's you. Congratulations. All right, leave me a comment after you get out of the hospital. Um, but this causes, this is a joyous occasion. Okay, with this three of water, it's a joyous occasion. The sun is ultimate happiness. Okay, very much happiness. Lots of prosperity and abundance as well. Okay, so whatever area of your life this is, I had to point out the pregnancy thing. There's a lot of pregnancy cards coming up. I don't know what everyone was doing in December. Um, well, actually, I do know what everyone was doing in December, okay? But um, the energies are what they are, okay? But the sun is prosperity, joy, happiness, beautiful, radiant energy, okay? Imagine going outside on a warm summer day and just looking up at the sun and feeling the sun on your face and how wonderful it feels, okay? It's that kind of energy. So you're walking towards your ultimate happiness, okay? And you're walking towards success and some of you, congratulations, okay? All right, so let's clarify this messenger of earth. Um, that also, by the way, could be 
the messenger of earth. That could be a message coming in telling you that you're pregnant. Just, just saying. Okay, so let's clarify the messenger of earth, please. And we have the ace of swords, <laughs> victory and success. <laughs> The Eight of Pentacles, some of you have been working very, very hard. And the Knight of Swords, there's that. There's another messenger, by the way. A lot of messages coming in for you here. Okay, so um, the Ace of Swords. This is victory, clarity, truth. This is the Sword of Truth. Okay, this is another gift from the universe. We have two Aces coming out for you. Aces are ones, so that's number 11. So 11s are new beginnings. Ones are new beginnings anyway but number 11 is amplified, okay? So you might want to look up the deeper meaning of number 11, just so you know, okay? But um, victory, success, clarity, this is seeing your way forward, okay? Um, 11, by the way, is a master number, all right? Um, so listen to your intuition, okay? Um, for some of you, this can actually represent someone new coming into your life with that 11, okay? Um, and <laughs> uh, new could be a little baby new, okay? Someone coming into your life. I got to say it, okay? It's there. I got to say it. All right. So if you're not planning on getting pregnant, um, maybe use some, maybe be a little cautious. Just saying. Okay, um, so but that Ace of Swords, that's that new way of thinking, that's that clarity, that focus, that um, opportunity of a lifetime, okay, that will give you that victory and success, all right? Eight of Pentacles is mastery, it's hard work, um, it's building that foundation, you could be building a home, building a business, okay? There's lots of abundance and lots of joy here, so however this resonates for you, because this is, could all be career uh, career oriented as well. And this is with that messenger of earth. So some of you could be getting that message that you got a new job, maybe a promotion or a raise. Okay, just saying. Um, and then the knight of swords, which also um, has to do with communication and thoughts. So um, I feel what this is, because the knight of swords can sometimes be a little bit um, all over the place. Okay, a little unfocused. But with the ace of swords here, hmm. Not only are you taking action and moving forward, but you do actually have that amount of clarity and the focus that sometimes, um, and and also the commitment, okay, that the Knight of Swords sometimes doesn't quite have, okay? This is very fast energy, okay? But it feels like it's slowed down a little bit here, all right? So you could be getting a new job, a promotion, a raise, something, uh, something along those lines, but absolutely this mental focus and clarity and the messenger of earth, that's also grounding energy as well, okay? So a lot of success, abundance, happiness trying to uh, come in here for you. It's absolutely beautiful and it feels the key is getting into alignment, all right? All right, so I'm going to close out your reading. I'm going to leave it there, okay? I'm going to leave it at that. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment if, you know, there's a lot of these pregnancies coming out in these readings. It's unreal. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment if that's you for sure. Um, okay, so I'm going to close out your reading here with a Divine Abundance card. Let's see what we have for you. Divine Abundance. Wow. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the tao and serve, serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. All right. That's a beautiful energy. And if there's something coming out here, once you release and get in line, um, this is very abundant, very happy, very prosperous, fortunate, new beginnings, wonderful things going on in your reading today. Okay. So uh, take heed of your gnome. All right, because that was certainly for some or quite a few of you. All right, and get yourself back in alignment there and realize your absolute true intentions. All right, so that's what I have for you. Hopefully there was messages that resonated for you. Okay, if there were, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Feel free to leave me a comment. I do read every single one of them. I love getting them. Um, it uh, gives me some feedback, of course. And, um, um, but they're also really joyous to read. All right. So I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. All the best of luck to you. And, uh, I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.